Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan. We are back with another recap video. This one's going to be super juicy as we're going to cover supply and demand. I'm going to give you a brief introduction on what it is, how it works, and really break down this one example on Apple. I'm going to show you guys how I was able to top tick this name using supply and demand. I'm going to show you how I got the levels and the zone. And I really want you guys to focus and pay attention because this is really one of the main strategies in our trading. So with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into it and let's really go over this Apple play. So first, before I really break this down, you guys need to understand that the supply and demand zones are formed on any time frame. You guys can start on the monthly, then go to the weekly, the daily, the four hour, and you could even find these supply and demand zones on the 10 minute and the five minute. So I think it's super important that you just understand overall that these can be drawn on any time frame and obviously the longer time frame it is that you establish these zones, the more credible they become. This is something that I was seeing on Apple. We were respecting this uptrend, as you guys can see, over the course of many weeks. And this is something that I posted in the chat. I believe it was in April. Yep. So this is the exact same chart that I posted in April. I highlighted in my commentary that I wanted to see how Apple would react on a pullback into the zone once we got into demand and this longer term UTL. Now obviously the whole market pulled back and we made our way lower and this was the update that I sent today a couple weeks later. I sent this alert out in the pro analysis chat replying to my old post. I said if you guys remember from a few weeks ago, Apple is now retesting this longer term UTL and old demand zone. This 150-157 is huge and if you are bull, we need to see that 150-157 clear and retest. If we cannot, we may see a sharp pullback. This morning we were long on Apple and 151.57 was one of our first initial targets and I knew this was the top of the supply zone as well. So first, how I got the 151.57 and 148.48 was simply from the range of this candle right here. So for supply and demand guys, you want to be looking for balance or consolidation. A lot of retail traders look at balance and consolidation as unfavorable conditions and where they should sit out and wait for better opportunities. Now me being a supply and demand trader, I love these areas of consolidation and chop because I know more likely than not a supplier demand zone is going to be left behind. So you guys can see we had three consecutive weeks of consolidation and once we finally broke above, we had this demand zone left behind at 151.57 and 147.48. So anytime price comes back into this area, these unfilled orders from the vicious move higher are going to get filled. And that's just a basic thing to know about supply and demand. Look for those areas of consolidation, look for a breakout, and then wait for those opportunities for price to come back and retest these zones. So obviously this is on a weekly, so this is on a longer time frame and it takes longer for price to get back in these zones. But when it does, if you leave the levels marked on your chart and the specific zones, you guys will be able to take advantage of these monstrous plays. So you guys can see there was two occasions where we used this demand to support and made nice moves higher. And then in April, obviously the whole market pulled back. We got that weekly close below the UTL, below demand. And going forward now at the beginning of June, we were retesting the top of the supply zone. So overall, this is what I was seeing on the weekly on Apple, and this was my analysis that I sent in the chat. And now let's go over here to a four hour, and I'll kind of break this down a little bit more. So you guys can see we used the top of demand 150.157 as support. We made a little move higher, and then obviously made the two four hour closes below. So right here we got that close below 150.157, and then the following candle below 147.48. So just in this situation here, guys, the first touch is always the more valid one, right? That first touch of demand ended up giving a nice bounce. When we came back to retest, we ended up getting those consecutive closes under demand. So I think it's really important to also highlight once supply is broken, it becomes demand. And once demand is broken, it becomes supply. That's a really basic way of looking at it. And when you guys are doing analysis, that's how you need to approach these setups. So once we broke down below demand, this same exact zone all the way back from this weekly candle now becomes supply. You guys can see once we got those closes below, we came back, we tested that 147.48, which was the bottom of now supply. We rejected, we came back up, and we rejected in that same zone again to make the move lower into 132. Now from this 132, the market has recovered a bit, right? We've come back 
and we have made our way back into this supply zone. This is where I wanted to see price pull back and this is where I wanted you guys to take profits in the chat. Now that we have the weekly and the four hour broken down, I wanna go into a 65 minute and a 15 minute and show you guys a little more of the pinpoint entries and details. Let me go to a 10 day 65 minute. Let me change it to a 20 day so we see a little bit more, right? So once we got those closes below, the old demand zone, this now becomes supply, and we were staying below supply and rejecting this UTL. Now, from that recovery off the lows, we got those 65 minute closes back above this 147.48, and we were using it as support. We had this little flag break here. This is the pop we played in the morning into our 150.157 target. And now this is when I sent the warning in the chat to watch out for that 150.157 supply. This is how it looks on a 65 minute chart. And then now let's bring it down to a 15 so we can pinpoint a little bit better. Zoom in here. You guys can see the support bounces right at the bottom of supply. And we made that move right to the top. Once we got to 150.157, we rejected that UTL. We got that 15 minute close below VWAP. And we are now making our way lower into the bottom of supply, right? That 147.48. So this is how it looks on a 65 minute and a 15 minute and then now I'll take it down to a 10 minute and a 5 minute. So this is how it looks on a 10 minute. You guys can see those consecutive closes failed above that UTL and then also the 150-157 top of supply and the 5 minute as well. Just overall I think it's super important to monitor these supply and demand zones especially if it's something that's broken down on a weekly time frame. You guys want to pay attention to it because the longer the time frame, the more validation it has. Even something that I did analysis on back in April is coming to fruition now in June. And this was a great example on how you can play the initial demand bounces and then the shorts from supply. This was just a great example on Apple. And this was how I was able to top pick this name. And like I said, you can do this on any time frame. And these opportunities are presented every single session. So I'm going to keep these videos nice and short, like I've always said, and that is going to be all from me. If you guys enjoy our content, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.